Saturday American Family News on Musty Key. The Republican Party is now just one seat away from taking back the U.S. House of Representatives. Republicans, 217. Democrats, 205. Still some races out there, but it does mean that at 217, the Republicans only need one more to have the majority, and it does appear they'll get there. By the way, last night, while we were working on Fox News at night, uh, a bunch of races actually sort of came in, all for the GOP. New York, 22. California, 41. California, 45. And New York, 22, by the way, was a very very deep blue district. Kevin Cork reporting. The U.S. Military Academy at Westbourne is under fire for giving cadets an ultimatum to get the COVID shot within 12 hours or face administrative action. West Point graduate and combat veteran Wesley Hunt was just elected to Congress from the state of Texas. This is no longer an issue of combat readiness. This is an issue of a political obedience, and it absolutely has to stop. Look, COVID-19 has been over for a very long time. The pandemic is over. Our president has stated that the pandemic is over. And if you look at what's happening at the military academy right now, we are literally impacting our combat readiness because brave men and women are not going to be able to lead us in the future because of this issue. And, and our, greatest threat right, our greatest threat right now uh, to our military is the fact that our government is not going to allow people to serve this country because of not getting a vaccine, not because of COVID itself. At a time that we are living, at the time that we're living in right now, where we have issues with recruitment, our numbers are very low. We need more people, not less. We need to empower people to want to join our forces, and not because of a vaccine, but because they're willing to die for our country. The world has nine years to avert catastrophic warming. That is according to the Washington Post, citing new research on the subject. It's the latest in a string of stories, warning people about a rise in global average temperatures and emissions. But skeptic Mark Morano says he's heard it all before. New York Times in 1995 predicted East Coast beaches could be gone in 25 years. In 1989, the Associated Press reported that a U.N. official said we had only 10 years left in order to avert climate catastrophe. This is based on models and based on U.N. assumptions about getting emissions below a certain level or the world's going to be doomed. It's all scientific lobbying for political United Nations climate agreements. That's all this is. Nothing to do with science. No readers should confuse it with science. A Tea Party activist expects that former President Donald Trump today will announce he's running for president in 2024. Just one day before the 2022 midterms, Trump told a rally in Dayton, Ohio, that he would have a big announcement from his Mar-a-Lago estate on November 15th. He spent the entire midterm campaign hinting that he intends to run again in 2024. And it is pretty much a foregone conclusion that he's making it official today. Tom Zalasowski is the president of We the People Convention. I think Trump is going to announce that he's going to run. Part of that has to do with the DOJ wanting to indict him and them having a bigger problem if he's actually a candidate for 2024. So that's part of the mix. And Zalazowski says Trump has put up the polls. I like the Santas. We all like the Santas. But if you put up any poll, the Santas is behind Trump by like 40 points. That the best answer would be for Donald Trump to take Ron DeSantis as his vice president and have them run as a unified ticket and bring all Republicans together with the idea that Trump can win and then DeSantis can run for two more terms and we'd have 12 years of conservative leadership in the presidency. But Zalasowski admits that the powers that be don't want that. And so they'll blow up the Republican Party if they have to because they just want to keep their power, not because they want to defend America. I'm Chad Groening. The man police say killed three people and hurt two others at the University of Virginia will be arraigned later today. The suspect is facing three counts of second-degree murder and other gun charges. He is a former member of the University of Virginia football team. Wall Street futures were higher and oil prices retreated. American Family News is online at AFN.net. And download the AFN mobile app. I'm Rusty P. Oh, land of rest for the eyesight, when will the moment come when I shall lay my armor by and dwell in peace at home? We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll Till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. No.
No tranquil joys on earth I know, no peaceful sheltering dome. This world's a wilderness of woe, this world is not my home. We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. I saw that once my Savior sighed, no more my steps shall roam. With him I'll brave death's chilling tide and reach my heavenly home. We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll Jesus comes, we'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. A country where no twilight shadows Not one single need 
as he failed to meet every day and in every way he takes care of me if he feeds the sparrows and he knows when they fall if he cares for the lily and his creatures so small How much more he must love me For I am his child For me it's great or small Praise God he's always come through right on time Oh he takes care of me Through the darkness I still can see With tender hands just like a shepherd, he's always leading me. I've never been hungry when he did not feed. Not one single need as he failed to meet. Every day and in every way, he takes care of me. Why should I worry? Why should I doubt him? He's never failed me. Never one time. Every day. In every way, he takes care of me. This is John Stromsland in Hamul, California, and I'm listening to KNBBC Revival Radio. Well, there are people today who say God's word is far away. On some theologian shelf And the man in the pew Must trust the educated few To tell him what God really said They say we must know Dr. Greek A Hebrew rabbi we must meet If ever we would know God The serpent lifts up his head Saying, yea, hath God said and the simple-minded are swayed. They say it's not the real thing. They say it's not original. It's just the very best that we have. We're told that this is just fine. That all the words are not there. Don't worry, his thoughts are preserved. Well, friend, the Savior disagrees. Each word the Spirit oversees. They're his words, not yours or mine. He said that man shall not live without the words he would give. So I need God's every word book. Oh, yes, I need an every word Bible. I must read it each day. I need an every word Bible. The doctors and scholars might say It's a lamp to my feet And a light to my path I must hide it down deep in my heart Oh, I need an every word Bible Without it I would stray By simple faith I understand God holds this whole world in his hand By his word he made everything He spoke the world in six days Made a man from the clay It's all in that every word book He put the manna on the ground Made the lions to lay down Kept a man alive in a whale If he could walk on the fourth man in the fire, then he can give me his every word book. I believe that I have an every word Bible. I just read it today. I have an every word Bible. No matter what the doctor. 
doctors and scholars might say It's a lamp to my feet and a light to my path It's hidden down deep in my heart Oh, I have an every word Bible Right here in my King James Bible Yes, I have God's every word Bible Right here in my King James Bible And you'll never take it away Never take it away 
happy again There was music before There'll be music again There's a song in my heart He didn't carve I'll sing it again Through the dark lonely night He will guide me and then I will look on his face Amazing grace I'll be happy again Hey, I hear. 